Hey Scorpio, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys right now. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watches, you're welcome. Feel free to switch the roles if it makes more sense to you. Um, let's see, okay? Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe if this is your reading. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you, Scorpio. If you're interested in a personal love reading, the details are in the description box. My Etsy has my readings. I have um, email readings as well. Quick turnaround, only about two to four days if you're interested. I also have my tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, and I also have a line of conjure oils that are coming out if you're into that stuff. So, Scorpio, be sure to favorite my shop. Connect with me, Instagram, Facebook, if you're interested. All right, let's jump right in. Scorpio, what's going on with Scorpio and love? Clear messages. The strength card, okay? So Scorpio, there's something here that you are enduring that's requiring a lot of strength. Strength of mind, strength of willpower. It could be something that's testing your physical strength. You know, Scorpio, there's something that's very difficult. It's very challenging. And I feel like you've been very strong through it, okay? It could be Leo you're connecting with. We also have the five of wands. This is that energy of conflict, okay? Tension, rivalry. There may be someone here that you are in cahoots with okay there may be some kind of resistance here back and forth i don't think that you get along at all and i do feel like whatever this is could be some drama here um that's calling you to be um stronger okay because there's something here that you could you're trying to overcome now we also have the eight of cups eight of cups so there's something here that you are working on cutting out of your life some of you guys are working on removing yourself from a person or individual there's something here that's not making you happy you could be literally walking away from someone emotionally okay i'm getting there's someone or something in your life that's not working for you it's not making you happy anymore and you're now you're having to leave it behind okay so we have a woman slipping off her hair in this particular deck so there's something that you're trying to cut ties with because I'm getting it could emotionally be draining you. In a recent past, Scorpio, we do have the Six of Swords. So there's something here that you're really trying hard to overcome. Okay? You got I'm getting like that drowning in emotions energy. So the Six of Swords, I really feel that Scorpio, you're trying to part ways with something that's brought a lot of conflict and disharmony to your life. We do have the magician, could be done with a Gemini. You're manifesting greatness. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to um, you know, create a new opportunity here. What's on your mind, Scorpio? We have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Moon in Reverse. Okay. So there's obviously someone here on your mind. It could be a, um, a soulmate here. It could be a past person. It could be some past memories or times, experiences with someone from the past. Um, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Piscean energy here as well. I'm getting that you guys are really working hard to move forward and um, release someone, but it's been very difficult because we do have the six of cups you're constantly thinking about this person they're constantly in your head now with the moon reverse i do feel like there's some fears that you're trying to let go of there could be some insecurities maybe there were some things that were hidden from you and may have recently came to light um and that could be the reason why there may be some kind of fight here maybe there was something here that was revealed or something you found out that you didn't like and with the five of wands i'm getting there's some rivalry between you guys I feel with the moon and verse can also be um, Scorpio about you holding back, right? really trying hard to be strong through this, right? Maybe holding back your feelings and emotions. I'm getting a lot of emotions. Emotions are at an all time high right now, Scorpio. Okay. Especially when you're alone, you may give the indication to other people that, oh, I'm strong. I'm, you know, I'm fierce. I'm, I'm bold. I'm not affected by this at all. But I do feel like there's something that you're really struggling with, with the moon card. A lot of um, your, your heightened emotions. Are, okay. I'm getting your emotions at an all time time high right now so let's see you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn i think i said that <laughs> all right let's see what's in the foundation scorpio we have the eight of wands in reverse we have the king of swords gemini libra aquarius and we have the empress in reverse i feel like someone here scorpio could be um an air sign someone here was not nurturing this connection they were not showing you the love the loyalty that you needed them to show you i feel like you felt they were invested in other people or other places other situations and i just feel like when you needed them the most they weren't there 
I feel like you really was giving a lot to this connection, hoping that it will grow. You really believed in it with this empress. But I get the sense that you just weren't getting that same effort from this person. I do feel like this is someone who um, may have something to say, but I don't think that this is someone who has been talking to you. Maybe there's been a lack of movement, been a lack of change. I'm getting all talk. This is someone who may be all talk. They have a lot to say, but they don't actually take action. And that could be why something here has not really taken off. Let's see what the outcome is for Scorpio. We have the Tower and the Knight of Cups. So Scorpio, that's your energy, okay? You could be going through a tower moment. There could be a tower moment happening in the energy between you and this individual. And what it's telling me, this could bring forth a lot of change. It could be very uncomfortable to have to go through. But a lot of times, a tower is a blessing in disguise, right? It clears out anything that may have been hidden. Something um, could be tumbling down or be destroyed because it wasn't built in a solid structure in order for something to be rebuilt. Now, I also see um, a love offer. Now, this could be you offering love to someone else, Scorpio. It could be someone coming toward you to offer love to you we're gonna find out what that's all about let's clarify okay all right scorpio let's jump right in if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe all right <laughs> that was a creepy voice <laughs> all right the strength card um more clarity on the strength i'm getting snip snip sip you're cutting something out it's been too difficult why is the strength card here Strength card is clarified by, ooh, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, who's this? Who is this? Let's get one more card. It could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Four of Cups in verse. I'm getting someone in the past, Scorpio, miss an opportunity with you because it could have been someone else that they couldn't give up. I'm getting this is someone who refused to give up another situation, another person. And I feel like as a result, there was a lot of disappointment. This is someone who was not able to give you the love because, well, there was someone else in a picture. Now, that's for some of you guys. I also feel like this is someone who made you compete for their love, right? The five of wands, you had to compete and um, prove that you love this person. It's almost like you had to work for them. So there's something that you're leaving behind. You're trying to cut ties with eight of cups. Why is the eight of cups here? King of Swords, the Chariot in reverse with the Queen of Cups in verse. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Air signs coming up again. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Scorpio, I feel that there's someone here, and it could be a Cancer as well. There's someone here that you're realizing that you can give to this person so much of your love, and it will never be enough. And you're realizing that you can't keep giving, 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 because... Even with all that you're giving, nothing is moving forward. The chariot is in reverse. Something here is not working out. It's not moving. It's not victorious. And I'm seeing that, Scorpio, now you're being challenged to let something go, to walk away from something that has not been making you happy, that has not been fulfilling. And that could be a very much a challenge, right? That's where you have the strength card. But what I'm also seeing is that something here just isn't moving, so you have no choice but to let it go. Cut ties, snip, snip, okay? I'm hearing literally snip, snip with a scissor. Give me the recent past energy. We have the Six of Swords here. Six of Swords is clarified by the death in the Three of Cups. I feel a lot of you guys, you really wanted to save this connection. You really were working toward and hoping for a reconciliation, a reunion, a to be able to come together with this person and celebrate. But I do feel like there was an ending. And the ending had to happen because that was the only way for you to move forward and get out of your head. There was something here that was a lot of conflict regarding the situation. There could have been a lot of conflict because of a third party. Something got too complicated, got too confusing. And it's telling me that someone had to just let it go. Because it was just like an ending had to happen. And this ending could have been the only sure way for you to get your happiness back. For you to get your life back. Could be, okay, I do feel like it could be with a Gemini. Why is the Magician card here? The Ace of Wands came out with the Tower. I, I really feel strongly, Scorpio, that this was a test. Okay, we have the Tower coming out again. This was a test. And whatever you've gone through, hell yeah, it's been difficult. Okay, it's been really difficult. Okay, but I do feel that there's a new beginning coming in for you. And that's something that Scorpio, you're manifesting. You're manifesting a new passionate beginning. Some of you guys are taking off and it could be a fire sign coming in. There's a new beginning coming in for you. There may be something that you're very passionate. You may be exploring your passion. A lot of you guys, you may realize you have so much to offer. So many skills and stuff that you have never been able to tap into. And now you're learning how to use your spiritual gifts. There's a big tower moment. Some of you guys, this is a spiritual awakening that you're going through right now. 
Okay, so let me see what this moon is about. I want to see what this moon is about because I do feel this could have been something that was revealed to you, Scorpio. Why is the moon card here? Moon is clarified by the Ten of Cups in verse, the Devil in reverse with the Eight of Wands. Scorpio, you're realizing that the only way for you to move forward, the only way for you to have change in your life with the Eight of Wands is for you to let go of something. Let go of the idea that this person could bring you happiness, the Ten of Cups. Let go of the idea that you're supposed to be with this person, that you're supposed to have this happy home, happy family with them. Ten of Cups in verse. You're not seeing it anymore. You're not feeling it anymore, Scorpio. You know that this is perhaps a toxic way of thinking, that this is the only person that can make you happy. And so I do see you, Scorpio, with the, with the devil in the verse, you're letting something go. You're freeing yourself, snip, snip, okay? You're cutting that tie, that toxic tie, that bond, okay? And you're saying no more. And that's allowing movement to take place in your life, right? We have the eight of wands, movement, change. Some of you guys, it could be someone coming in to communicate with you. It could be a Capricorn. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? It could be a past person. Six of Cups is right next to it. Why is the Knight of Pentacles Ten of Swords, the Lovers in Reverse, the Five of Cups. Some of you guys, you have a past person who feels like crap. They feel they re regret something here. They regret bringing forth this Ten of Swords. They betrayed you. They left you, abandoned you. Um, they turned their back on a really strong soul connection, the Lovers in Reverse. They said no. They denied it, right? They ran away. They did something here that turned their back on this connection. And now they're feeling heavily regretful, disappointed in themselves, remorse about a situation here and I feel like this is someone that may be slowly coming towards you this is someone that I think you know I, I think that you care about but Scorpio let's be real you had to let something go so let's clarify why the eight of wands versus there's been no change here with this connection why has there been no change eight of wands someone is afraid okay we have someone here with the strength card the page of cups and the fool in reverse someone is afraid to come toward you scorpio <laughs> they're afraid they want to apologize but they feel like a fool and they don't have the courage to come toward you so they're holding back they're resisting we got the strength card leo energy could be in aries as well this is someone who has trust issues they feel like you don't trust them um they know you don't trust them let's say it that way right and so this is someone who really wants to come toward you, Scorpio. Hey, I care about you. I'm thinking about you. I'm sorry. I want to ask for forgiveness, but I just don't know how because I feel like a fool, a fool in the verse, right? I don't know how to come toward you because there's so many blocks and challenges because I put up these blocks and challenges, right? I, I, I destroyed something here that really had great potential for growth. And so now I don't know how to come toward you, Scorpio. I don't know what to say, okay? But I want to apologize, Page of Cups. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The problem is, is that, you know, the ground is no longer fertile, right? The Empress came out in the verse. Tell me more about the Empress. Some of you guys, you are a mother. Why is the Empress here? We have the world, the sun in reverse, and the knight of pentacles in verse. It could be that same air, um, same earth sign. Scorpio, I really feel like with this world card, you've gone through so many changes and lessons. Um, you've learned so much about yourself what you want, what you desire, what's going to make you happy. And with the sun in verse, I just feel like you're not seeing <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel with this person. Maybe you saw it before, but there's something here that's, that has changed, okay? It's changed. You're no longer seeing that happy life, that future with this person. It's not crystal clear anymore. And with the sun in reverse, you just don't see yourself being happy. And so I'm getting that, you know, there's something here and maybe at one point you saw stability with them, but you're questioning, okay? You're questioning this is someone that can really give you the love that you need, right? You know what you bring to the table, Scorpio. You're loving, you're caring, you're nurturing, you're all these things and you deserve that back. So there was a tower moment. We have big, big tower, a uh, tower coming out twice, right? We have lightning strength, striking here, big, big change coming in. Tell me more about the tower. Um... Yeah, tell me more about the tower moment. It could be a Scorpio, another Scorpio you're dealing with, right? Tower is clarified by the Hermit, the Two of Wands, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Um, Again, the tower is bringing forth a spiritual awakening. We have the Hermit here. It could be a Virgo. Someone is going within. Someone is taking time to go within. It's a time of in deep, deep reflection, introspection. And someone is thinking about what this relationship meant to them. We have someone who was very indecisive. There may be a decision that someone is having to make in the near future about this lovers, okay? About this, well, two cups, okay? Two cups energy. About this strong, strong soul connection. 
someone here um I think both of you guys realize what this connection entails, what it really is, um, because I'm getting that even with all the distance between you and them, even with all the challenges, the tower moments, it's almost like you still feel like this is your person. And there is a decision that has to be made, the two wands. How do I want to move forward? What do I want to do? And so you and this person may be having to go within to really figure out there may be a separation here on the horizon because someone has to really figure out what they want. How do they want to move forward? And this could be both of you. So I'm getting a pause, walking away, maybe temporary, right? Sip, sip, walking away, eight of cups. Even if it's just temporary, just to figure out what I want to do with this connection. We do have the knight of cups coming into the near future. So there could be a love offer coming in. Tell me more about the knight of cups. It could be a new person, could be an old person. Depends on what your decision is, Scorpio. The justice in reverse, the king of pentacles in reverse with the five of swords. I feel like this is someone who has a lot to make up for. I, I do feel like it could be the same earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's someone who obviously wants to get out of conflict with you. They don't want to argue anymore. They don't want drama. Uh, but there's a lot that they have to do to make things better. There's a lot they have to do to turn things around. And I do feel like they want to offer you love, but at first they got to fix what they broke, right? And I do feel like that's what they want to do. They want to fix what they broke in order to offer love because I get the sense that you know every morning they make their cup of coffee and they're still thinking about you. Okay, you have the heart, Scorpio. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus readings up on Vimeo and um, personal readings I'm available. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll check you guys out soon, okay? Bye.